57-27 were you down at the Homestead Stadium on Saturday to see the Highlanders whip the Golden Cats? Well, Jerry was. He also brought up the issue, Southland Rugby Union owns 25% of the franchise of the Otago Highlanders, but are we getting our money's worth? They're called the Otago Highlanders after all, aren't they? He went down to see what some of the crowd thought about that, but here it is, New Zealand's big game, rugby. You guys what, from Otago are you? That's yeah, definitely. Otago yes. Islanders. How big a supporter of the Highlanders are you? Very oh, big. big. It's huge. You'll wear makeup for it? Yeah. What? Hey, some people are saying get rid of the Otago part. Definitely no. Not. No, definitely definitely not. Not. no. What? Come all the way from the team. Team. We You'd lose the whole house of pain. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Tane Randall, Jeff Wilson. But what about when you're down here? Oh, you need them down Is here. Is it an insult to, no, to the Southlanders to have this Otago no, all the time? No, I don't think so. You've got two. You've got the... Pilati Feely, oh, Pilati Feely, <laughs> Southlanders in there to kick yeah. the team a good steady balance. Yeah, That's but right. but don't we need to have it? Should it be the South and Otago Highlanders? No, I don't think no, so. No, no. I think the majority of the team is Otago, yeah. but That's right. um, you definitely need the Southland influence. Some fanatical Otago students just before they insist they've got to have the Otago Highlanders, part of the name and the blue and gold thing. Well. I think as long as you have a bit of the south and colours in too, because it's sort of a bit of both, eh? See, up here they've got the house of pain, and down here I see it. It's just a shame Simon's not playing today. <laughs> but uh, however, whoever's doing his posse will do it good, but uh, no, it'd be nice if there was south and colours in there too, because it's part of both, you know, because for years south and Otago played each other, so. <laughs> Time. It's time for the big team talk at halftime. Here we go. Only 40 to 3 up. We've got to get more out of them. What are we going to do? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I'll get that ball to Jeff. He's, he's going good, but he needs more. He needs more. Jeff, yep. I say they need better passing skills. They haven't been doing it very well in the first half. Yeah, they need to play harder and get... Get play. mean. Hey? Get, get mean, but not ugly. Yeah. And yep. pass it to Jeff. Get, oh, kick better. Uh, get Jeff over to score a try. The fact they called Otago Highlanders hasn't slowed them down today. Indeed it hasn't, they're giving them a fair old kick, aren't they? <laughs> yeah. 40 to 3 at half time, incredible really. What more do we need from them? Heaps. Well, I think they have to continue the way they've been playing, but they've been playing sensible rugby, they haven't been doing it willy-nilly. They've, they've been putting some, uh, some, some pretty hefty kicks in, you know, kicking for the corners when necessary, and then uh, just blitzing them up front, yeah, just absolutely give them a hiding. Good rugby, is it right up to the top standard? Oh, it's superb rugby, yeah. Great. 43 to 3, what's going to happen by the end? What score? 75 12. And who's going to score the points for the Highlanders? Jeff Wilson, Josh Confound, and Reese Duggan.
<laughs> we have. And was it worth coming for? It was for? brilliant. <laughs> it was really worth it. And this is her first game. She hasn't been yet. This is her first game. And they won tickets this morning, so she was really wrecked. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. What did you think of the game? What did you like about it? Yeah. I got the face painted. <laughs> it's almost worn off with all the sweat and the hype and the yelling, is it? No, I've got a headache, I tell you. It's, yeah, it's just awesome. They play brilliantly. Down here in the south, people are saying we've got to get rid of the Otago out of the Highlanders. We've got rid of the blue and the gold. What's your reaction to that? Oh, no, I think it's all right, eh? Yeah. That's good. I'm a Southland boy, but yeah. I'm keen for it, yeah. yeah. But we've got the maroon in there and the jersey. It's all is good. it enough? It's enough. You can see it, Captain. <laughs> what do you think there. from Otago? Uh, oh, a wee bit more maroon would be uh, just a bucks nuts there. Yeah. Okay, you wouldn't mind that? People are yeah. shouting out for Otago over the back game. Oh yeah, well that was us, but like, no, nah, it's a bit of south on us too. Uh, good stuff. 57-27 the Highlanders certainly came through with the win there. And the Southern Sting also did very well on the weekend. We've got them coming up. And Opera. Do you think you could handle Opera? Find out soon. Coming up on South and About. Southern Sting certainly put their sting in this weekend. I was on the edge of my seat for the whole game on Friday night. We've got the highlights of that show. But first, with the 150-year celebration, Southlanders have been treated to all sorts of performances. We've had uh, rock and roll, country, pop, show music, you name it, we've had it. But coming up, is, or coming up in, in Southland soon is something old that's perhaps a little bit new for us.